Hey everybody, how you going today? So I thought I'd just do a little quick uh, summary and chat about uh, collecting the water. Okay, that part of it. So we went out um, for, for sundown for Dutch Now uh, We went to the place to collect the water and we were thanking the elementals. Father, Son, Holy Spirit, of course, and then the elementals for blessing the water. Now basically, I thank fire, or sun, fire. I thank the fire for cleansing the water, right? Keeping the water clean, cleansing the water, and breathing life into water. Right? Um, then you thank Mother Earth for containing the water and uh, keeping the water in a channel that we can collect it from. Right? Uh, then you thank the wood um, for grabbing uh, the earth, you know, and holding the earth together to form that bank, you know, and, and thank the wood for for uh, cleaning the toxins out of the air and, and stuff like that. Of course, then thanking the air for eating the, uh, for taking the toxins from the trees, the, uh, the oxygen that they make and, and adding its wind to it and turning it into oxygen so we can breathe it and so that all life can and stuff like that and then of course thank the water uh, for being there you know and giving us the life as essence that we need to survive and to live and everything else so it's a process and and you, you use your own words you can say your own things and stuff like that and or don't do it at all no matter it's up to you obviously but that's how I uh, get the water in the first place now later today I'm gonna make a cinema of doing other blessings on the water and then once the water is blessed okay once I get the water blessed I'm gonna make some druid cleansing water okay now that's similar uh, to anointing oil in a way um, anointing oil is different in, in, obviously in some ways um, but with the druid cleansing water let's say um, Druid Grove cleansing water, uh, it's a big fancy name for it, but Druid water. Um, if you have an attachment, you know, June, June, bam, gone. You know, <laughs> it's, it's basically uh, basically used for cleansing uh, items, persons, and things, right? It's for cleansing it and um, and restoring. So, um, let's say you got two or three attachments or something, right? then the druid water blasts those away like it they don't they don't stand to hope in prayer right because it doesn't belong to your soul right so if something's attached to you that doesn't belong to you that's what the druid water is for is to get rid of it okay so but basically that's that's what druid water is it gets rid of unnatural stuff okay whereas uh essential oil you know, that's used for blessing that person and, and cleansing. You see what I mean? Like it, it, and it means that they've been chosen to do a certain job, right? So it, uh, it also gets rid of attachments, obviously. You know, like if something's attached to you and, and you know, you bless yourself with anointed oil, uh, obviously it's gone too, right? But anointed oil is also you are anointed to do a certain thing you know you're anointed to to follow a certain path okay um that type of stuff so the anointed oil the, the anointed oil and the druid water are very similar in a lot of ways right but the anointed oil is more um positioned like it's more there's a purpose behind using it and there's a purpose for the person receiving it okay other than other than cleansings and stuff like that right um, so it's, it's it's a very important thing to have obviously uh, I make my own of course uh, hey so that's what I'm gonna do today I'm gonna make the uh, I'm gonna make the uh, druid oil after I do the blessing and stuff uh, the druid water and uh, 
that's what the difference is between the two of them. Anyway, kind of went off, you know, topic a little bit, you know, you know me, uh, a squirrel. Uh, uh. But anyway, uh, yeah. So, I mean, by all means, you know, check out check out what I told you about it, and and I just wanted to explain to you, to me, what the difference is uh, between uh, anointed oil and druid, druid water. Okay, uh, there are differences, but the main difference. The main difference to me is anointing oil is a purpose, okay, specifically. Uh, you can be anointed to be a pastor. You can be anointed to follow a path of sorts. Uh, you can be anointed for one specific thing. You can be anointed to get rid of stuff, right? Uh, the Druid water is not like that, okay? The Druid water is a continual blessing. You, you know, you can bless and you ask for help on your path right so that's a little bit different um but it still smashes you know klingons and stuff like that not the ones on star trek but it still smashes anything that attaches to you or attaches to your own stuff like that it still does all that but like i say one is very purposeful and the other one is kind of general and i think that's probably the major difference okay that's enough blabbering for now uh, one more quick look at the view back there. <coughs> All right. Blessings and we'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.